Good morning, guys. Happy, I don't even know what day virtual learning day it is, but it is Tuesday, April 14th. I hope everyone had a wonderful holiday weekend. I hope you got outside, enjoyed your family, enjoyed the pretty weather. Uh, today we are still in Harry Potter world, so enjoy learning how to do some of the wand spells and different things as you tour the park. That's, in, that's just fun to, in your mind, get away. Um, I also have put on our page today a link. If you want to do a project this week, something in your free time, there is a link to a Go Noodle about how to make a time capsule. And I would think of all times in your young life that you are going to reflect on one day, um, this would be it, and you have time to make one. So get a shoebox, get a container, and um, fill it with all kinds of things that mark this era in our lives, all things that are normal, because you will be amazed if you open it 10 years from now, uh, how much things have changed. So it kind of walks you through like what you could put in there and stuff. In reading, we are reviewing The Thief of Always. I really encourage you guys to pay some good attention. I also, excuse me, reposted the link from last Thursday where Ms. Stallenwerk reads um, chapters 15 through 17. A lot is about to start happening very, very quickly at the end of the book, and I want to make sure that everyone understands exactly what's going on right now. In math, you have Dreambox, and you've got some student book pages. Make sure that you are using that, that first link where I say that student uh, book or homework check from yesterday or student book check from yesterday. If you're confused at all, I show the teacher's guide and you can just freeze your screen and compare your work from the previous day to that so that you're not confused. And of course, reach out with questions. Please make sure that you are sending me pictures of your math book pages. I am recording who does and does not send me those. So if you've got a full book, even you don't want to send me like 15 pages that you have forgotten to send me in that Google slide, just take a picture of the last few and send them to me, okay? And I will consider you caught up, all right? Um, guys, I hope everyone has a wonderful day. If you come up to school between 11 and 1, it's uh, free breakfast and lunch, and it's chicken nuggets today. And it's so cool how it works. If So you go around the back of the school, there are like cones and stuff, and the lunch ladies have this huge cart. They've got their masks and their uh, gloves on and stuff, and they pick up a, lunch, a bag that contains like your lunch and your breakfast, and they put it on a table, and then they step back like they social distance the appropriate amount. Then you get out of your car and you pick up that bag and then you have free breakfast and lunch and you don't have to prove that you're a resident or prove that you go to school here. It's just something that the state has funded. So Valley View between 11 and one, if you want breakfast and lunch, it's chicken nuggets today. So uh, don't forget about your book clubs, please. I will see you at, um, at those structure times. And if you have math questions, uh, bring them to book club too. We're gonna be talking about um, our Newzella article today that has been assigned, which is the Frog Prince. And um, I will see you soon, guys. Have a wonderful morning. Miss you.